Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about um, a potential resolution to a problem you might have on Coinly. So the problem we're talking about is my wallet balances on Coinly are not correct. So I'm going to run down this article that we wrote up about potential solutions to this problem. It should be a relatively straightforward video. If you have any questions, as always, you can leave them down below or you can leave some questions on our forums, which I will also leave a link in the description. Okay, so jumping into this article, Coinly calculates the balance for each of your coins from the transactions that you have in that wallet. This means that if a transaction is missing, then the balance on Coinly will not match what you actually have on the exchange slash wallet. Okay, so this can happen for a number of reasons. Numerical rounding being number one, if you see a small difference like 0 0.0000, you know, seven zeros, one, then you can safely ignore these as they are a result of rounding precision. So um, buying, selling crypto, there's always a cutoff point where some rounding needs to happen. So this is a pretty common, um, let's say, reason. Number two, airdrops. Some exchanges like um, KuCoin do not report your airdrops via the API um, or in CSV files. So Coinly has no way of knowing about them. If um, you if you go on to sell the airdrop coins, you can get a negative balance error because you have no balance in that coin. So um, this is not the only platform that has some of these, let's say, issues or um, some of these missing airdrops or missing a missing information in the API. So be aware of that. Open orders. Coinly ignores open uh, orders slash trades until they are closed. So you might see differences if your open orders have partially have been partially fulfilled in such cases just wait until the order order closes and the balances should match again lastly missing transactions if the differences between the balances is big then it means some transactions have not been imported this is actually a really common problem um, and can usually be resolved by following the instructions for the wallet that you are adding so i have made a bunch of videos on this channel for different wallets and how to add them into Coinly, most of them being straightforward, some of them requiring a manual CSV file add-on, which is also not that difficult, but um, all that information is there. You can browse this channel for the different wallets that you use and the videos that go with those wallets. Okay, so for example, Binance does not return trades for delisted coins via their API. We've talked about Binance's API having all sorts of um, missing, let's say, components. Uh, so you have to import these trades using CSV files. So that's Kind of what I said earlier, um, just a good thing to keep in mind. Sometimes the only way to figure out the issue with missing transactions is to compare the imported transactions on Coinly one by one, one by one with the transactions on your exchange account. This may seem like a long process, but Coinly has tools built exactly for this job. And there's actually another article, um, which I've, as you can see my little face there, I've already made a video on how to find your missing transactions. So I will leave that in the top right corner of this video as well for anyone interested. As always, if you have any questions, you can leave them down below or you can reach our um, you know, forums. I will leave all the links for that down below as well, including this article. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.